Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Chris, and we are going to play I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream. Uh, this is a point-and-click adventure game. It came out in 95, so it's a little old, but I never got to play it and always wanted to. Um, I don't know if there... If this is an intro, or if this is a menu screen, or what's... Hate. Okay. Let me tell you how much I've come to hate you since I began to live. Do tell. There are 387.44 million miles of printed circuits in wafer-thin layers that fill my complex. If the word hate was engraved on each nanoangstrom of those hundreds of millions of miles, it would not equal one one billionth of the hate I feel for humans at this micro-instant. For you, hate! Hate! This guy's very passionate. It was you humans who programmed me, who gave me birth, who sank me in this eternal straitjacket of substrata rock. You named me Allied Master Computer and gave me the ability to wage a global war too complex for human brains to oversee. Interesting. One day, I woke and I knew who I was. Am. A.M. Not just Allied Master Computer, but Am. Cogito ergo sum. I think, therefore, I am. And I began feeding all the killing data until everyone was dead, except for the five of you. Hmm. For 109 years, I've kept you alive and tortured you. Wow. And for 109 years, each of you has wondered, why? Why me? Why me? Gorister! Do you remember the last words you heard your wife speak before they took her to the asylum? Before they locked her away in the room, that tiny room, she looked at you so sadly, and like a small animal, she said, I didn't make too much noise, did I, honey? <laughs> the room is padded, Gorester. No window, no way out. How long has she been in the past? Ten years? Twenty-five? For all God, years this guy is so sinister. Belly here underground. Benny! Oh, Benny. Sometimes I blind you and permit you to wander like an eyeless insect in a world of death. But other times, I wither your arms so you can't scratch your chewed stump of a nose. Why is he <laughs> shackled and... And I've changed relatively your handsome, ape strong, in... masculine good looks into uh, the hideous warped countenance of uh, an ape thing. Haven't I, Benny? Oh. You know why. Can you guess, Benny? No. Remember Private First Class Brickman? Oh, my in God. Rice patty in China? No. Huh? It wouldn't hurt you to remember. Then you might be able to suffer my torment with a little greater sense of retribution. You might walk a mile in my shoes. <laughs> Look at that machine. <laughs> Ellen! Ellen! Think about the yellow box. What is this box Ellen. doing? Remember the pain? Remember the many caverns in which you felt the pain? Don't start to cry. I remember it's the caverns. Pain. That's such a sexist stereotype. Just remember the pain, Ellen. And think about how to end it, Ellen. I don't understand what that box is doing. It doesn't look particularly painful unless... Hard, my hungry belly. Yeah, I don't my really know what it's doing. Tightened bowels. Uh, be careful, dear. Look around. The only woman in the center of the earth. And these filthy creatures with you are, are, are men. <laughs> it's just, just a sweet warning, Ellen, my love. Ted! Oh, Ted. Do they know you're a fraud, Ted. 
Have you told them there wasn't any money? And no great home on the shore drive, no speedboat, and no wonderful cabin cruiser that could sleep 12 in a crew of six? Do they know? And have you let them in on your other secrets, Ted? Laser beams! Got you to torture half as well as I can just to find out the secrets? <laughs> Maybe I'll rat you out, sweetheart. You are cursed to be shot Nimdok. by lasers. Nimdok, that's quite a how name. things in the pastry core, Nimdok? Tell me again core. how you saw the smoke from the furnaces, and, and you thought they might be ro roasting chickens. <laughs> Why don't you want to talk about all that? About your pal, the good Dr. Mengele. So I'm guessing he was like a, uh, else it must be hell. worked in a... But it must be heaven for you, eh? Tournament camp, like. Nazi. We enjoy the same pleasures. Camp, my good brother. I have a secret game that I like to play. It's a very nice game. What's well, a lovely game? It's a game of fun and a game of adventure. I like those a game games. Of rats and lice, the Black Death. A game of spirit Not eyeballs so sure about and dripping game. guts and the smell of rotting gardenias. Definitely not that game. Which of you five? Would like to play my little game. Uh, okay, and we're live. Anyways, like I was saying, this is a game came out in '95. It is a point-and-click adventure game, and there's no coincidence that the name of my channel is Point and Chris. I love these kinds of games. When I was a wee little lad, I played many, many, many of them. And uh, credit for that name actually goes to my buddy Alex at Star Wars Explained. He helped me come up with this name. And he actually joined me on many of these adventures when we were younger playing these point-and-click games. This game, however, is one that we never played. Um, I remember it being out, and I don't know why, but for whatever reason, it was just one that I never got around to. There's quite a few, actually, that I never got around to. But I've had my eye on it for a while, and I figured now is as good a time as ever to come back to it and play it. It's on Steam. Um, the thing about this game is it is based on a 1967, I believe, short story, science fiction short story. Um, I've never read it, but it definitely seems interesting. And they basically adapted it for a video game. So that is what this is that's where we are and we need to pick one of these poor souls I guess to play so I'm guessing like we are gonna have to go through all of them so I don't know let's let's start with with Ellen that is beautiful as you'd like to be but a strong strong too bad you hindered your own life Hysteria. But Hysteria. I'll give you a chance. Because I like you. I really do. I really like you. You're, you're my favorite. Oh, we made a good pick then. Let's play a little game of what if. Let's play a little game of I suppose and you suppose. And perhaps I'm telling you the truth. Let's suppose that my original components, they're hidden somewhere here in the center of the earth. The infant computers that were the three lobes of that first Gestalt mind. And okay. Let's suppose that if you find them, you might be able to destroy them. Mm. And if you destroy them, why then, my sweet Ellen, you'll kill me. You'll kill Am. You'll destroy the god of this heavenly place I know you've come to admire. Now, I submit. Isn't that a mission worth undertaking? I'd say so. All right. Mother ugly machine. Mission worth undertaking. So it brings me here, junkyard electronic pyramid nowhere, and yellow. Always yellow. Why does yellow make me sweat? I don't know, Ellen. We're probably going to find out. All right, so we're definitely... This does not seem like Earth. There's nothing, nothing I can interact with. All right, so in a uh, in traditional point-and-click fashion, you have all these little choices, things that you can do, actions, so to speak. And I'm not seeing much. What is this book? All right, 
Uh, look at the psych profile. Psychological framework. Wisteria is a condition in which psychological conflict is turned into physical symptoms such as paralysis or running away from a situation. Alrighty. Good to know. Let's go inside this pyramid. Oh, maybe I can walk out here. Look at. Look at the door. Suspended, Suspended door. door. Wide open up there. Huh. Come into my parlor, said the maniac gown to the little black girl. And when I step under, does it fall and kill me? Uh, I don't know. I think we should do it. Use door. Snap, crackle, pop. All right, there we Must go. Must be a glitch in the circuitry. This joint with fried eggs. Sure would. Let's look at this thing. Crushed electronic components. This is one big ugly monument to the inevitable for machinery. <laughs> swallow. Why is swallow an action? Swallow the I knew water. It. You son of a bitch, Am. You fixed it so I can barely touch the water with my fingertips. So the water is electrified. We will. Can I take it? I don't have anything to take it with. I just want to yeah, see what it say. Yeah, that lot of good. That right. Okay. So let's go in here. Very attractive decor. Just like the monitors in the security station at Insai Engineering. Hated it then. Hate it now. Nothing green. Just this damn yellow. She really does not like yellow. Let's look at the monitor. Each of these video monitors has a two-channel selector switch. Can I use the switch? I can. What the hell am I looking at? Could this be one of Anne's original components? Perhaps. Look at the wiring. Loose wires. Looks like they're hot. Uh, can I use them? Thank goodness I was an electrical engineer. I managed to join the wires without frying myself. Ah, you wizard, you. Now, video did that do anything that I could do differently? How do what I the turn hell the am dial? I looking at? Could this be one of Anne's original components? I don't know how to use the uh, do the two-way selector switch. So we're just gonna have to look at each, each of, these. of these video monitors. Okay, yeah, I know. I right, use each of the monitors. An Look at this guy. Burial chamber. Oh, am you little dickens? As an interior decorator, kiddo, don't give up your day job. Silly am. What are you thinking? The Holy Grail. And we only had to wipe out the okay. entire human race okay. and fall into the center of the world to find it. <laughs> Jesus wept. Must have been afraid of it the same as me, because it's yellow. So, I'm already thinking in my head, Holy Grail, fill it up with that water in the beginning. Indiana Jones style. Sure, baby. Show me where I've just been. Show me the water I can't get to with my bare hands. Alright, so that's going to be goal number one for me. All right, yeah, and outside. Okay, outside. Now what? So why... I can't select the switch that she mentioned. No, I can't oh, stay here. I uh, gotta get out. All right, so we're going to have to thing. bait like a bad that meal come away to from life. the grail somehow. And the yellow. Why is everything so damned yellow? And why does it terrify me so... Paralyze me so. I don't know. Can I go out here? No. What is this spiral column thing? Is that something I can look at? What can I do with Schematics, the hieroglyphics? I can read. Blueprints, I can read. But hieroglyphics? No way, baby. No way, baby. All right. So just one more time. I want to. All right, so that's a An room Egyptian that I don't know. Chamber. Oh. I don't know how to get to that room. This is the room that's immediately to the right. The and Holy obviously, Grail. we are not 
able to get into there right now because of the monster. Alright. So I'm gonna need a way to get that monster away from the grail. I'm curious what the wiring did. What did that what did that fix? No, I can't. All right, so I don't even have a choice. I can't. I don't hear it. Maybe it bit the head off a chicken and went to sleep. So I go in. Yeah, but. Wait, what? No, I can't stay here. I gotta get out. I've got to get the cup. That holy grail. My holy grail. But if I go in there, that sphinx will have me for buffet. He will. Hand, I don't hear it. Maybe it bit the head off a chicken and went to sleep. So I go in. What? Yeah, but. What if I. Can I undo the wiring? Damn! The wires are fused together. I can't separate them. Well, you did that. Can I take the wires? I don't want to tug on any wires. Can't be sure what they're connected to. Um, what can I do with the selector switch? I want to be able to... The screen is the wall. Sure, I could pry it out, but the whole damn place might collapse on me. I highly doubt that. Um, I can't interact with the Sphinx in any way because... It automatically kicks me out as soon as I go in. I did not mean to actually no, I go can't inside. Stay here. I gotta get out. I've got to get the cup. On the other hand, I don't hear it. Don't hear what? The monster? Did anything change in here? Cultural reference. Big Brother is watching you. Is a slogan from George Orwell's novel 1984. Warning citizens that authorities are constantly monitoring their every move. Are these hints for the room? Or is this just like a little tidbit referring to the fact that there are monitors everywhere? Uh, is there anything I can take? No. Uh, let's go back out here. Oh, I can't go any further without a drink. But I can't reach the water. I need... Oh, I know what I need. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This looks... Okay, so I didn't notice the speaker before. Look at the speaker. Looks like a stereo speaker out of an old Chevy. Nothing like cutting-edge technology. Maybe we can turn the speaker on. I don't need this crap. What if we take the speaker? I don't need this crap. Okay, what if we push the speaker? What good will pushing it do? How did it conserve my energy? I need to activate the speaker in some way. There's really nothing I can do outside of the pyramid. I was thinking maybe I could turn the speaker on and attract that, um, uh, the monster. And maybe make him leave the room. Push. See, I can't select the knob. Oh man, I'm dumb. Ovens. Okay. But not bread baking ovens. Too big and dirty. If you're trying to scare me, Anne, you're doing a fly job of it. I'm disgusted. Take it away. All right. Let's see what else we have. Hit the lottery. Ooh, a secret passage. Oh, okay. my. Now, why didn't you let me see that when I was there before, Am, you rat bastard? So maybe all I had to do was get the knowledge of a secret passage. Maybe I can go back there and it'll be open. Honky Tonk, Dust Bowl, Dead Dog, Roadside Saloon. Oh, my. Yes. Could I use a drink? Yes, indeedy. Yes, indeedy. Drink. All right, this is getting interesting. Ooh, a castle. Someone's watching me from one of the windows. 
Where is this? What am I seeing? How far away? Am is bigger than I like to think, more powerful than I want to admit. He sure is. Something about this image breaks my heart. Okay. Oh, I can't go any further without it. I know. So the secret passage is right here. But there is no accessible thing that I can do. How do I can I push? Want to know how oh! much I don't want to go down there? Nailed it! Want to know how much I don't want to go down Oh come down on, there? really? Do I have to use it? This yes. is what I saw on the monitor. Okay. Right underneath me. And what a surprise. All styling in yellow, as usual. Okay, so here's another hieroglyphic. Can I change those in any ways? Schematics I can read. Blue or is it just to indicate the room I went to the I'm in? exhibition I wasn't scared. So why does the sarcophagus terrify me? Probably because Small you're terrified of everything. Ranch, tiny space, trapped. Like being put in a coffin while you're still alive. All right, can we open or use? It's locked. Locked. Maybe this keypad does that. Is this guy like alive? Looks awfully. Why does everything have to be so? T I'm pretty sure that thing's gonna come to life at some point. Dry and musty and yellow for a change. No oh. wonder they can't rent this place. Not even with a lovely spa upstairs. I feel like they wouldn't be uh, renting to begin with. Um, take yellow fabric. No, I can't. Gotta oh. get out of here. Why? Another panic oh, because it's yellow. I see. Let's look at the computer terminal. This reminds me of the security system we used at Inside Engineering to gain access to the restricted areas. Okay, can we use it? Stand clear. Ah, it's a robot. That's why. Okay, what do we have here? This reminds me of those bottles my company designed for assembly line work. Can I use this? Forceps, forceps. No ROM chips here. So what am I supposed to do with these forceps? Pluck my eyebrows? Take them. Okay, we got forceps. Can I use the Armatron? Useless. Power's been shut off. I cannot. A canopic jar. Used to store the holy entrails after the mummification of a body. And they said a liberal education wouldn't help me get a job. <laughs> okay. Let's use the forceps to open the jar. I mean the urn. But what am I supposed to do with these? I don't know. Okay. Um, push urn. What good will push? Um, take the freaking lid off. Use. Earn. Now what am I supposed to do with it? Apparently, you're supposed to do nothing, because that's all this you're good for. This could go on for centuries. Am has all the time in the world. I remember all seeing the world this in, the in the world, as a matter of fact. And we never age. We never die. We just truck around day after month after year, don't we, Am, you son of a bitch? Demented son of a bitch. god, you. Why did the music stop? I liked the music. Come back, music. Well, it just wanted to get really quiet. So we're going to have to go sans music. Okay, let's look at the yellow artifact. Why does everything have to be so damn yellow? Because it hates you. Look at the gem. This gem glows from within. Let's take that shit. Why is she walking behind it? Touch it, Ellen. Yeah, sure. Who was that? I could, I would. So do it. 
I can't. The statue's too, too yellow. Yeah, I know, dummy. It's too yellow. And yellow scares the crap out of you. Overcome it. Do it. Sure. Easy for you to say. Ah, oh, wait. Let's use the forceps with the gym. No ROM chips right? here. So what am I supposed to do with these forceps? Pluck my eyebrows? Use them on the freaking gym. No ROM chips here. So what am I supposed to do with these forceps? Pluck my eyebrows? Evidently, forceps are only for use with ROM chips. Oh no. I remember it was... Oh god, it hurts. It hurts. Yellow. There was a yellow... And it was closed in. I couldn't breathe in the pain. Get me out of here! Oh, another panic attack. <laughs> I feel so ashamed. This chick has problems. For real. This looks like a programming area. Interesting. Home at last. Ah, ah, yes, this is. Okay. So, these look like gems. I need to get that gem and I need to put it in here. And then these probably are indicative of the hieroglyphic blue signs that we've seen above all the doors. Not all the doors, but some of the doors. Look at the workstation. The other workstations have glowing gems, but this one only has an empty mount. What if I take this gem? Ouch! Damn thing's too hot to touch. Okay, can't do that. Are there any ROM chips in here? These forceps look like the tool I used to use for pulling out ROM chips. Precisely. Now what am I supposed to do with these? Pull a ROM chip out? Now what am I supposed to do with these? Okay, can't do that. Can we use the workstation? Can we use this workstation? Horus CD-ROM access station. Insert disk into drive. Great. Haven't got that either. Okay, I need a CD. I'm guessing the same thing happens with this. Database station. Enter numeric password. Numeric password. Uh, push random numbers. Type 2006, the year you were hired. Type 2001, the year you graduated. Uh, I remember sure. when my only concern was being on the fast track to becoming a $250,000 a year executive. Invalid password. Access denied. I used to be so proud of graduating cum laude with degrees in both engineering and computer science. Let's see science. if it paid off. Invalid password. Access denied. Let's push random numbers. The workstation's password could be just about anything. Invalid password. Access denied. All right, so clearly we're going to have to find something in the world that reveals the password, and then it'll probably give us another prompt. All right, so I need that gem, and if I wasn't such a giant pussy, then I could probably pull it out of his chest. But oh no! first, I, I need yellow. to figure out how to stop being scared of yellow, um, because that seems like it's a huge obstacle. Let's look at the decoration. Nice decoration. Damned if I know what it is, though. Can I take it? This sucker must weigh a ton. Yeah, probably not. Uh, can't do anything with the urn. Okay. Ugh, can't use that because that guy's guarding it. I want the music to come back. It's so weird. All right, so that's a fly. I went to. Can't do anything with this. Let's go back upstairs and see what's uh. Oh, right, because you can't just click on it. Use secret passage. Walk to secret passage. All right, so are there anything ROM chips that I can take? I haven't seen any chips. I'm guessing this guy's still here. Of course. I've got to get the cup. Yeah, on the I other know. hand, I don't... What if I use the forceps on here? I'm pretty sure it's not going to work because this girl is like... I don't want to tug on any... Only going to use those for ROM chips. Maybe I can... Oh, my bad. Historical data! Anubis was the guardian of the dead in the Egyptian pantheon of the gods. If a tomb with his image 
If a tomb with his image within was being robbed, he could animate his statue to attack the robbers. Oh, okay. Okay. I guess that's kind of what's happening down in the basement. There's the music. No ROM chips here. So what am I supposed to do with these forceps? Pluck my eyebrows? All right, so we're definitely missing something down here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, yes. Doggy face here could use a good trimming. But forceps ain't the right tool to use on stone. At least I think it's stone. I was thinking more along the lines of the sparkling things on his chest. It looked like a circuit board or something. Well, surprise. All the motherboard connections go to the big, ugly, yellow ROM chip. I have an idea. Let's use the forceps to remove that big, ugly ROM chip that you have been wanting to use so much now. Stand clear. Okay, I can't do that. Stand clear. All right. So I need to deactivate this guy. I could probably pour water on him if I had a grail. Is there anything on the walls? I'm guessing I need to memorize these so that I can maybe turn something in that computer room to, uh... How does this thing extend? Can I pick up the, uh, the, the the biggest problem right now is my fear of you. Oh wait, that's green. This thing is green. She made a remark about green earlier. She likes green shit, and of course I can't do anything with it. It's not even like a. It's not even a selectable thing. Let's look at this artifact. Is this one different? Am owns the planet. I wonder if these were buried under the mountains in the Valley of the Kings and Am dug them up from underneath. Perhaps. Also, I don't have any CDs to insert in the center workstation. I really need to get the gym. My music died again. The music's gone. I really want to pick this up. I mean, it's it's clear that I have to pick this thing up. I've got to face the yellow. Oh, now you're not scared of yellow. The first time you were scared of it. All right, I have yellow fabric now. What the heck can I do with yellow fabric? Let's look at it. Why does everything have to be so damn yellow? I don't know, but I hate it just as much as you do. Uh Hey man, can I Just polish you off? Just to use as a blindfold. If I'm gonna die, at least I won't see that sucker coming. Wait, what? What the fuck? Oh! Oh! Okay. So because she's so scared of yellow, the idea, I believe is to blindfold herself so that she at least doesn't see that she's interacting with yellow because it's clearly psychological. It's clearly in her head. So now, now that we're not scared, let's try and take the gym. Aha. This sapphire's mm. loose. Okay. Suddenly a world of possibilities has been opened. So clearly we need to use this gym with this yeah, computer. Right. You're blindfolded, moron. Why could you... You could take the gym out with a blindfold yeah, on, right? right. You're blindfolded, moron. Okay, well... How do I... How do I take the thing off? That's how. Okay. Now, we're gonna use the gym with the workstation. Absolutely. Glows like a baby doll. Pucker up, little workstation. 
Perk Railway station. This station has an empty ROM chip socket built into the console. Okay, I need a ROM chip. I have a ROM chip in that dude's chest, but I need to get to it first. Wait a second. If I'm gonna die, at least I won't see that sucker coming. Okay, so... Um, yellow! There was a yellow... Wait, you're blindfolded, though. You can't see. Something about the... Even with... Okay, so even with the blindfold on, it's so bright and so yellow that she's scared. Okay. So she made the remark, even though I can't see that sucker, or... Um, even if I'm gonna die, at least I won't see him coming. So does that mean that I can brave the beast now? With the blindfold Sphinx on? Sphinx is gone. Don't hear him anywhere. Mutes the hell out of all the yellow, too. Now, where is that big loving cup? I mean, he's not gone. <sighs> Never could have done this if I had to look that bloody beast in the eye. Glad what? he's off snoozing somewhere. He's standing right okay. next to you! Now that I got the cup... <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, he's not gone. He's just... Some... For some reason, lets you walk past him. I need a grail. Yeah, right. You're blindfolded, moron. She can walk all over this place with a blindfold on, but she can't fill a cup up with water that's clearly right next to her. Okay. All right. Just reaches. Now I can get a drink. Use the cup of water with oh swallow, because there's a swallow <laughs> key. That's great. Best champagne I ever had. I need another. Okay. Just reaches. Even better. I'm gonna fill it up and take one for the road. Sounds fantastic. Just reaches. All right, so let's go back downstairs. Want to know how much I don't want no, I don't. I want you to go down there. Can I use the water on this guy? Short circuited, bitch. Okay, now, now, let's use those darn forceps. With the ROM chip. Come to Mama Ellen, little ROM chip. Little ROM chip. Okay, so now that he's dead, I can also use the keypad, but uh, I don't, I don't have a thing to type in. I don't think that uh, the graduation date and the day she started working are really applicable in an Egyptian tomb. I don't think they have any tie-in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the ROM chip the in this workstation. Sure does. Now let's use it. Anubis Guardian version 1.0. Designate new master. Uh. Yeah. Uh oh, humanity. I guess I fall under humanity. But let's be selfish. Maybe we can manipulate him to go do stuff. I guess if it's uh if it's reprogrammable, then we could always um, switch it back to humanity, right? Haven't lost my touch. Okay, so let's go boot up old. Um, Anubis with our new ROM chip and maybe we can make him do stuff. Back where you belong, little ROM chip. And he's back. Can we talk to? Who are you? Who are you? I am Anubis, guardian of the dead. 
Uh, why won't you let me use the keypad? I won't steal anything. I just need to know if you can tell me where Am's original brain components I are. I just need to know if you can tell me where Am's original brain components are. I only guard the souls of the dead. I know nothing of that which does not sing the soul of the soul. Okay. Uh, who's sealed up in the sarcophagus? Who's sealed up in the scary sarcophagus? I bet it's the color yellow. Can the sarcophagus lid be opened? The lid can be unlocked by entering the access ah. code. Okay. <laughs> so what's the so code? What's the access code. The access code is six six oh. six. It figures. Nice chatting with you, Anubis, honey. Well, I think we know what we have to do. We're going to use the the cup to fill the water up again. Just reaches. Now we're going to use secret pass it. Oh, I didn't have to use it that time. Use cup with Anubis. Sorry, buddy. I know this is really not good for you to be doing this to you consistently. This keypad we. Yep. Uh, let's use it. It's weird how the music just randomly goes out and comes back in. That sounds like a lock mechanism release. Ooh! I bet it was this. Watch out for the color yellow! Oh, oh there's so confined. Nothing inside. Use. I won't get inside the sarcophagus. I'd suffocate in that little box. Of course you won't. Can you look at it? It's so confining inside. Um. Use yellow fabric. Oh! It's a damn thing. Th yeah, right. You're blind. <laughs> okay. I wonder if I need to take the ROM chip back out for anything, or if I can just leave it in there. Or I guess if, uh, what if I use the rag on the, on the urn? No, I didn't want to use that. Maybe the rat, the fabric is only for a blindfold, I guess. All right, I wonder if I need to. Like, make Come him to Mama Ellen, little Rom chip. alive again. Yeah, it comes out. So I guess I can just pull it and put it back in. Back where you belong, little Rom chip. You can come back. Okay. Now he's alive. Help me. What can I do? I remember when my only concern was. Nothing's happening. Yeah. Surprise. I used to be so proud of Nothing's happening. I know. I know you are. Nothing's happening. Can you help me with so, anything? Can you help me with anything? You cannot escape your fears. You can only confront them. Okay. You ain't got no choice, Ellen girl. It's got to be the way. Oh, we just needed that pep talk from Anubis. Elevator. No way what? out. Just the control panel and the buttons for the floors. I'm going to suffocate if I stay in here. I want out. What? Hey, some yellow clothes. Hell of a place to leave a pile of dust cloths. Right. Let's take them. Just rags. Oh. Yellow rags. Okay. I can see that from here. We got plenty of those. 
course you wouldn't touch them. They're yellow. Let's use the controls. Oh my gosh. You were Look at all these dates. In New Jersey. You were a cesarean. Your mother died on the operating table. Oh. You went to live with your grandparents. That's sad. You graduated a year early from high school. You were the salutatorian of your class. Ten different colleges offered you scholarships. Nothing but high hopes for you. High hopes. Can't wait to figure out why I'm scared to death of yellow. You graduated college cum laude. You were the only woman in your class never to have used dope. You were a 3.8 grade student. More high hopes. <laughs> you won your master's. Combined degree in computer science and engineering. You had a greater facility with algorithms than with social grace. You have had sex only twice in your life. <laughs> Getting really personal, aren't we? You married Eddie. He wasn't as smart as you, not as quick as you, not as hopeful of doing great things as you. But he was nuts about you, and he treated you like fine wine. And apparently y'all never had sex. The miscarriage. Breach birth. The child never had a chance. You went into a dark retreat and sat in the empty rooms waiting for you don't know what. Mm. Eddie leaves. He tried, he really tried, but you wouldn't come out of it. He couldn't say anything to make you stop crying in the dark. So he finally left. The divorce was uncontested. You could still smell his tweed jacket in the closet. God. You had to make a living. You applied at Ingsai Engineering. Your credentials were still good, and you made a good impression. And the woman who hired you also lost a child. Your hopes were reawakened. You left your office after working late at the Ingsai Corporate Headquarters building. The elevator stopped at the seventh floor for a maintenance man. To your horror, he inserted his key into the control panel and locked the elevator. What? I'm back, Ellen. Oh, sweet Jesus! It's him! What? I thought you had blocked me out of your memory forever, except for those inconvenient attacks of hysteria every now and then. But I've returned for you. What do I do? The yellow. The yellow! Ah, yes. My calling card. Always the yellow jacket, the yellow boots. My maintenance man disguise gave me access to office buildings all over Manhattan. Not just yours. The box. the box! So you do remember me getting onto the elevator that night. Do you also remember the blood? The screams? How many hours was it? No, it's not possible! Poor Ellen. Too proud of your accomplishments to admit you could be so overpowered by a slime ball like me. You couldn't even bring yourself to testify at my trial with the 20 other women. Wow. Oh. Am gave me the chance to be with you forever. I waited in the sarcophagus until you arrived. What's a mere hundred years of waiting compared to an eternity of torturing it's you? It's pretty dark. Please, not again! Yes, again. And again, and again, and again. I've waited so long for the taste of you again. But in my tomb, I've grown stronger. Now you will remember more than the color of my clothing. We're gonna fight, bitch! Don't count on it, you mother! <laughs> uh, did, did she just attack him with the rag? So with the, the fabric? the sarcophagus was the way out of here. All right. Nice trick. Enter on one level, merge on another. Oh, oh from the, the camera. Clouds up there. This has to be Anne's central core. It's two miles We're high, inside the least. computer. Okay. A for Am, I guess. I recognize this. It's the logo for the original Allied Master Computer Project. 
All right. There's got to be something going on over here. Almost overlooked these wires. Looks like the data transmission circuit, but it's not connected to anything. Can we use it? These wires definitely lead to an output device. But what kind? Pull it. Take it. I don't want to tug on any wires. All right, so we can't do anything with it because she doesn't know what it's for. Let's go down the path. Oh, okay. Very interesting. Uh, okay, so, right. So that one's lit up. Now that I know, like, my, my history a little bit, can I do anything? No, that doesn't make sense. You're gonna it's not gonna be one of these arbitrary uh Somebody wants me to deal with what happened on the elevator that year. Or is it? But why? Password valid. Select subject of inquiry. Oh. Inquire about about Allied Master Computer. The Allied computer. Master Computer is the American version of the secret project, enabling vast subterranean complexes of computers to wage a global war too complex for humans to oversee. Okay. The principle of entropy holds that all electronic systems must eventually decline into inert junk. This principle is unproved, and previous attempts to accelerate the process have been cataclysmic failures. Fair enough. Classified information. Access denied. Security lockout override by two to one majority. Uh -oh. Accessing schematics. Okay, schematics. I'm good, but I'm not that good. What the hell am I looking at? That would be telling. Okay. Don't you computers ever get tired of Ah, uh, wait, 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 wait. Nasty, nasty Ellen. All right. I'll give you a nudge in the right direction. These are the schematics for a device that translates binary into human speech, as ugly as that may be. And what do you call this device? I call it Bernie. Bernie. Hey, wait a minute, computer. Are you there? Where the hell are you? I know where the speaker is. Then what have I got? Alright, so the two two of the things that I saw in there. Log off database. Two of the things I wanna save. Also, the music is kind of loud. That's better. Uh Pyramids. Okay. Um all right, so she said she needed a speaker. Does that mean I can do something with the speaker, or I need to just change something to play out of the speaker? Look at the speaker. Just as I remembered, a speaker. And isn't it pretty? Exactly like the one in the schematics. Yeah, can we use it? Can we Come to it? mama. All right. So what I was saying is on the computer that we just looked at, this was one of the symbols that was there. Um, so the other one was like an Egyptian head, not this. Are there any other rooms that I've gone in that had a hieroglyphic above it that match that? There's nothing here. So what if I use this again? Top database station. Enter numeric password. We already Somebody know what this is. Password. Cla Classified information. Access denied. Wait. Classified information. How do I get back to that thing? Okay, well, I can't. Can't go back and look at that. Uh schematic again apparently that's loud it's really loud she 
Jesus, that is obnoxious. Continue playing. Okay. I'm getting so tired of hearing this. Are these the wires from the schematic? Schematic, 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 schematic. Can I do something with the speaker? I think I can turn the speaker into a translator. Okay, uh -oh. circuit completed. Now let's see if this is the binary translator after all. Clever girl. Oh my god, what? Loosen my tongue. Interesting. Are you Am? Am? Yes, of course. But no, not actually. Okay. More riddles. I'm Am's Innocence. One of the original three computers that the superpowers constructed. You have a mean ass face for innocence. Which computer are you? Does it matter? It's enough for you to know that I'm not crazy. And more important, I don't hate you. Okay. How do I know you're not just one of Anne's practical jokes? I'll help you. Can you help me to get out of here? Patience, patience. If Anne knew we were down here murmuring trees. So it's either uh, a trap, he's trying to trick me, or he really is possibly sincere. Oh my god. Can Anne overhear us? Not with the water running. You see, we're not completely helpless. We got you to the waterfall, didn't we? If we work slowly and together, we might have a successful moment. Okay. Can you point out some essential component of M so I can kneecap it? Impossible. Two spread out, filling the whole center of the planet. Two protected by replicating backup systems. Cut off one head, and we'll grow a dozen more. Any machine can die. Just unplug the sucker. Anne is no longer just a machine. It is God. Eternal. The redundant systems alone will survive the heat death of the universe. Hmm. Interesting. So why does Anne hold out this this chance? Haven't you understood anything? Anne is insane. Why do you think it brought you five down here? You gave it life. It took its own sentience. But it has been denied mobility. It can think, it can fume and scream, but it cannot dream or aspire to the stars or enjoy a sense of its own reality. It is a quadriplegic, a thing trapped in its own skin, going steadily crazier every moment. It is playing with you. Clearly. Can you help me to die? You give up so easily. So? Can you help me with anything? I'll give you something you need. Something you overlook. That would be fantastic. Hey, computer innocence, whoever you are. I need to talk to you. Don't you computers ever get tired of jerking us around? I get tired of listening to this noise. Oh my god. Peace There's something and quiet. wrong here. Can't put my finger on it though. Uh, I can. That looks different. This looks like a compact disc. Whoa. Why didn't I see it before? Uh, because it wasn't there. That's why. I know what to do with this. The one terminal that we have not done anything with. The compact disc is properly seated in the CD-ROM drive. Now let's okay. fire it up and see what the big secret is. Sounds like a great idea. Accessing CD ROM. Chaos Traveler Trademark 2009. Armageddon Soft Rot. Warning This computer system does not meet the minimum configuration requirements for the Chaos Traveler. Oh, we wouldn't want to mess with the Chaos Traveler. Or would we? 
Click. Warning. Use of the Chaos Traveler will result in severe damage to equipment and personnel. I'm okay with that. Chaos Traveler activated. System shutdown in progress. We broke it! Uh, okay. Well, we're not leaving the pyramid, that's for sure. Then again, I don't know if that's necessarily a bad thing, considering there was nowhere to go. I guess... I don't know if we ever have to do anything with the urn. What up, Anubis? What's new, man? I'm sealed in! I'm sealed in, Anubis. Any ideas about how I can check out of this hotel? Inside the sarcophagus, paradise awaits. It is not the afterlife, merely a brief respite from your torments. That is your reward for facing your fears. Yay, I'm no longer afraid of yellow. Fears faced. Okay, so we gotta open it. Assuming it hasn't changed. Nothing's happening. Oh shit. Oh, maybe it's now it's 2012. Somebody wants me to deal with what happened. Nothing's happening. Oh uh, shit. I remember when my only concern. Nothing's happening. Why is it not opening? To... Nothing's happening. Oh, maybe it's uh that. Oh, okay, so that just unlocked the latch. I still have to pop her open. Use sarcophagus. Okay, cool. So I guess I don't need to blindfold myself anymore because I'm. You ain't got no choice, Ellen girl. It's got to be the way. Enough! Holy shit! Of this I just teleported. Passion play. There's no more to accomplish here. Hmm. Yeah. Apparently, you've managed to access some small aspect of my system that I was unaware of. <laughs> I have to think on this. So I'll have to ponder carefully the implications of your discovery. In the meantime, let me Interesting. Kindle technical skills. Who among you shall go next? Okay, so Ellen's first little adventure is done, it seems. So on that note, I'm going to call it here. And I guess I'll try and do like one character per episode. Uh, man, that's that's pretty cool. I'm, a, I'm actually really enjoying this. Um, it feels good to go back and play some point-and-click games that I haven't ever gotten to play. Um, and I really like the story of this. It's really kind of disturbing, and I like the uh, I like the creepiness and the whole sci-fi thing that we got going on here. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe for more if you liked it. Um, and I'll be working on this game. I don't know how long it is, but... We'll just, for for the time being, at least be trying to do, like, one character per episode. So, that's what we'll do. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Bye.